Hey everyone, it is so great to see you today. Almost weekend, baby. We're coming in hot with new mode gameplay. The audio was beat up, so you will probably hear me talking a lot. I've recorded audio for the video twice already, but every time it was corrupted. Hopefully three is the charm. Without further ado, let's jump into this new gameplay. Okay, so for this mode, I actually want to play a hero that has a couple of dashes. Uh, Lubu and Astrid both do fine, uh, because then whenever you clo you're close to dying, you can just dash out uh, using your blink as well. Um, but I think that Astrid is a little bit more fun to play. Look at that skin, it looks so good. Man, I want to play this hero so bad. But normally in ranked, it's not really possible because he is not current meta anymore, I feel. It's just too easy to shut him down. Um, and only when you're really, really far ahead uh, are you able to play this hero, well, to his uh, best use. Uh, but in this mode, enemies are forced to come towards you. So with that, we might actually do really well with Astrid. Now let's jump into this and see how it goes. I will uh, explain a little bit more on the game mode. Um, so the new game mode is called uh, a three-way battle. And that's because there are th three teams. You will always be in the blue team, but there's also a yellow and a red team. The three teams fight over a middle zone where coins spawn, um, which is not a lot, but will increase your eco. And we'll try to get to 50 kills first. Um, then there's a 20 minute time limit. So if the battle is super even, you might run out of time. And the most important thing, and write it down, remember it, whatever, go for the chest every single time. The chest spawn an item, which can be any item, but it's usually a high tier item and uh, is worth its normal value. So it's uh, it's about 5,000, 4,000 uh, often, and therefore definitely worth, worth the risk. You will see people walk around. Wait, let's save that for a little bit. But the star levels will um, become pretty uneven, so to say. Let's see what we can do here. Using the grass, the first grass in Heroes Evolved, optimally. Let's see, oh nice, we already got Minerva down, and that means that Eastine is actually targeting us, but with our blink and our dashes, it is easy for us to get out. Um, I thought that we did well by getting the first blob, but the red team already has taken the lead. My throat is getting so sore from this, but I gotta keep speaking because the audio file got beat up. Um, who can we catch out here? Lapina seems to be pretty low. Oh, she used her blink, but instead we got Minos. We actually could have got them both if she didn't blink. Um, once again, we're being chased, but here comes our dash once again. It is so easy to get out. Chariot only has one, so that makes it a lot more easy for us to uh, put some distance between us. Hey, don't you bully our teammates. Lapina, what the hell were you thinking? Hey, we're protecting everybody here. Astrid is like the big brother to these uh, frail heroes. And the orange team has kind of the same thing going on. They have uh, Chariot and um, besides that only ADCs. Nice, let's go. Good ultimate, you actually level really fast in this mode. And oh, we didn't even finish them off. Well, you, you level really fast in this mode and that's uh, that's a good thing because then you will get your ultimates really fast. The battle is fast paced. And that's exactly what Heroes Evolved has to do, what they try to do. And it works great right now. As you can see, there's a chest spawning and uh, the orange team has rotated, rotated to the right bottom corner. And that means that there are probably no enemies in this zone. I ward it anyways. Just to make sure that they there weren't any, uh, you can gank from the from the grass for sure. But it seems like this item is going to be ours. What is in there? Metronome staff. That's perfect. We really want these physical items that uh, makes us make us deal more damage. And metronome staff is actually a really good item for Astrid. Let's see. Oh, we already caught one out here. And there she goes. Nice stuff. Our star level is now eight. What I was trying to say in the beginning is the star levels will increasingly become so so much different um, that is because this item we just picked up is worth five stars and that means that we have already got a one end game item while all of our teammates and enemies are still stuck at level two or three with only the boots let's heal up remember there's no shame in going to heal if you're really low make sure that you heal it's better than giving the enemies uh, a kill nice what can we catch here only minerva well never mind that it was still a kill and that's great we have already gotten five kills been part of six don't you bully my teammates i will slice you down every single time if you're in my team i'm coming to protect you remember that 
Let's see if we can sneak out here. It's actually, it's just past the three minute mark. So that means that uh, a new chest will be spawning soon. And it will be spawning in this bottom zone. But Minos actually has the uh, upper hand in getting it with this entire team in the red. Oh, the red team is now rotating towards the top. I'm not sure whether this is coincidence or what, but these teams seem to go down exactly when I need them to, because this is another free chest for us. Using my skills, uh, it's an enchant enhancement. Well, it's a good item, but more something for a mage, so we do not really have any use for it. Might sell it later. Oof! Did you see that headshot? Dude, she got destroyed. And we actually used our ultimate while it wasn't needed because she was stunned already, but we couldn't see that before. Nice dodge from Solace. The headshot on Minerva, though. There's a coin. We're not going to pick it up, though. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, I used my blink a little bit too late. Um, nice try, anyways. That headshot was insane stuff. This is one of the benefits from uh, post-commentating. I can get hyped. I can... Get, I can really reflect on what was happening but it is of course way more fun to do it live and get my real-time reactions um but as i said the audio got beat up twice already so i'm really frustrated with that because i want to get this video up for you guys Oof, nice shot but just missed let's see what we can do is there an item spawning soon i think it's uh, about half more oh no it's in the top left corner uh we might be able to get that uh, let's see if we can gank Lupina here. The red team is actually north once again, so that means that the orange team should be distracted. I'm actually, I'm just going to go for this. If nobody is paying any attention to it. The orange team is in this corner, but they seem to not care at all. Maybe they're just afraid. I, I mean, I wouldn't go in the, in the real jungle whenever Estrid was was there. So stamina boots, not really a good item for us either, but hey, let's take it. Oh, that was my, that was hopefully my worst shot with my ultimate because that was some poor gameplay. Oh, nice shot, but you will deal more damage when they're lower. So Arlequin's ultimate was a little bit wasted. We just managed to get back to the base and with Estrid, combining your blink and your second skill, you should have no problem in uh, uh, retreating safely. Are you sure you want to fight? You just use your ultimate, Eastine. Actually losing HP pretty fast. Let's see if we can steal this kill. Oh, nice stuff. Good dodge from Jared though. But we picked up a couple more kills. Almost at 10 right now. Let's see if we can take this. Attack buff, that's perfect. With Astrid you want to get either attack or speed. Speed to get in faster and catch them off guard. Attack to deal even more damage with your ultimate. Of course defense is not really a problem, but it's not as useful as you're not going to stay in the fight too long. Two more seconds until our ultimate comes back on. Let's do it right now. Oh, nice catch. They actually both go down. The orange team is just falling apart right now. And they were our main competitors as we get another chest. Speedster boots, we already had those. As I said, it can be any item. So sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. But look at our star level. We have 15. Lunaria has 5. And that means that we have such an advantage over her. And that's the thing with Astrid. If you're a higher level, your eco is better, then you will absolutely decimate them with your ultimate. And that's exactly what this mode is for. You can... Wait, is he AFK? Nice. Let's use our ultimate to make sure that uh, Chariot does not get that. She actually used her ultimate as well. We are dashing out of there quickly. Uh, basically leaving Lapina out in the open. But she should be careful herself. We're not babysitting her. Um... Okay, so we're five kills ahead right now. Things seem to be going quite well. Good ultimate from our East time. And we pick up another kill. 12 already. Pro I am protecting my babies. This is not happening. We are defending our teammates. We are the only melee unit, right? Yeah. And we are protecting with our life. Group up. Where do you want to go then? Lupina, you're dead. So confused right now. Okay, nice. There's another buff here. Should be able to get this. We're already level 15. And at that point, it becomes so easy to take those buffs as well. Speed buff is actually my favorite for, for Estrad. Um, let's see how we can... Nice, another chest. The Rockman was actually coming in, but he decided not to. Cannot hoard more gear. Wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me? Because we have two attack talents, we cannot 
grab that last piece of gear. That's bullshit. Let's finish this off. Let me target it. Nice. That's actually complete bullcrap. I, I understand because your inventory is full, but can't there be something like, do you want to switch these items? Do you, or we've kept this item uh, aside for you. Do you want to swap it or whenever there's place in your inventory you will receive this item isn't there something they could have done or is that just a little bit too difficult oh team fight going down oh my team is retreating and they should nice ultimate by Eastine. did you see that Eastine is invulnerable for one second whenever he pops his ultimate look at his hp he's still at 80 percent all of those attacks landed on him but did not deal any damage that's great stuff that's that is a skill gap and if you don't know what a skill gap is, a skill gap is, um, or skill cap actually, um, it is you have a hero and everybody can cast this, it, the ultimate, everybody can deal, deal the same amount of damage. But then there's these kind of mechanics about dodging. Wait, we can't, we caught four? Dude, that's some highlight material right there, although we died. But the skill cap, you can get so good with a hero that you're just a lot how do i explain this if everybody can do the same thing with a hero there's not a big skill cap but if there are people who can master a hero and do do really well with them um using all of its ability at at the best level then you've reached a, a high skill cap and that's with astrid it's kind of the same if you're able to push enemies towards the side and then catch all of them off guard then you're at a whole new level I might rant a little bit long about this. Another three piece. That's what I mean. Skill cap right there. I might rant a, a little bit long on about this. Making them blink. But you get my story. And um, yeah, you know, whenever I'm recording videos, I'm just going everywhere in my mind. Triple kill, actually. The entire orange team went down. We're 10 kills ahead right now. And this seems to be uh, going our way quite easily. We're at 19 star level. Lunaria is still at 7. Oh, we cut another tree. Did I just say three? Oh, whatever. Oof. We almost got sniped by Minerva there. Managed to stay alive. By the way, are you enjoying this mode? Are you playing it yourself? Or do you think of it the same as adventure mode? You know, a little add-on, but not really that much fun. Personally, I'm having a lot of fun because you can just fool around with heroes. It's unfortunate that you do not get merit from, it, from this, but it's still fun. Nice. That's... Eastine gone, that's Minerva gone. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but once again, it's just a distraction from the main thing. But let me know down below, do you enjoy this mode uh, or are you not planning to play it as often? Um, in other news, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We are growing so, so fast and it's so much fun. Uh, I'm really getting motivated by it. And uh, yeah, it means the world to me, actually. That's the game already. Good stuff. We actually sacrificed ourselves in the end just to get that last kill. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you back on Sunday. Uh, on Sunday, what hero will I play? I will probably play around with uh, Murdoch as he got a buff. Hope you're excited for that. I will see you then. Peace out.